We're on the walls of Derry, London Derry today, and we're going back in time to 1689 when the apprentice boys closed the gates of the city to protect against invading Jacobite forces. And let's not forget, Jane, they weren't very old. They were only weefless, weechels. That's a win, really. So all those wonderful Ulster Scots words, they're, they're, they're terms for, for youngsters, basically. For young people, that's exactly right. And I suppose, you know, that conjures up a different image from what we might think of the Apprentice Boys as today. They weren't very old. We're inside the Siege Museum now on the walls, and this is a list of what people would have been reduced to eating at the time. We've got dog and cat and rat and mouse. They must have been absolutely desperate. And Jane, after 105 days of siege, you'd be queer and hungry when you start to look at your dog for your dinner. And if you look here, Jane, this representation of a, a, a mother and her two children, two wains, and the clays they hae on are little mare in her rags. And Ulster Scots for clothes is, of course, clays. That's it. We're back in the walls now, and this cannon behind me is Roaring Meg that was fired to signal the end of the siege. And legend has it, Jane, it was fired by the Reverend James McGregor the man who led the 1718 Ulster Scots migration to the New World. The one and only Reverend James McGregor from Ahadui, who founded the settlement of Londonderry in New Hampshire. But that's another story. 